Hey everybody, to a, another exciting day of my journey to 2000 where I play a game of chess every single day. I put it on YouTube for subscribers to critique and praise and uh, gossip and, uh, and tell me all the wrong things I'm doing and all the right things I'm doing. Um, yeah, I just got back from a, a week uh, of spring break. The family and I went down to Santa Barbara and uh, had a really good time. There's, there's something about, you know, just watching kids play on the beach that's just, you know, good for the soul. You have the elements working with you too. You're walking around on the sand and you're just seeing how, uh, how they can make an entire day out of nature. So, yeah. Uh, with that said, uh, shout out to the Discord, shout out to the subscribers, shout out to everybody putting their chess.com user ID in the comments below. I do select randomly a list of names from one day's game and, and see if they're going to play me in the subscriber series. So shout out to the subscriber series. And now I'm going to stop talking. I'm rated 1531. Let's see who I'm playing today. Mick, Mick, seven six four seven zero eight, out of out of I think, uh, Russia. Yeah, they block out the flag for Russia. Uh, we're doing the Karo Khan defense here, and they take. We got the exchange variation with the pen of attack. So let's go ahead and. Develop per usual. Okay, there they might become a knight here now. Um well they wanna like make sure my bishop doesn't doesn't do anything. So let's let's actually get it out now. And if they do push this pawn then they'll retreat. So I can still push that pawn and then have this sort of attack where the bishop and queen align on this diagonal. So let's close that off. Add another defender to this pawn. Get my knight out there. I'm thinking maybe knight d7. Oh. Uh, Knight c6 might work too. Knight d7 would allow me to get my bishop here and not have to worry if they come down and pin because I'll have a defender there on this knight and then I can move my queen over here. So let's go. Let's go knight d7 here. Ah, oh, but it blocks the. Okay, it does block in a defender here, so it takes, takes, takes. I st I'm still good. But if they pin, okay, never mind. All right, let's just keep developing here. As they'll push. Okay, and then I'll retreat down here and then castle and then. This move kind of traps in my bishop a little bit. So this, but then I can retreat back. Uh, let's castle. And if takes, then takes. Okay. Oh, that's right. 
I did mess that up. I did mess that up. So now they're going to come in and then they recapture here. But then I can check and then win that. And we'll check. Knight retreats back. And then I can come in. Okay, so maybe it's not as bad. that one pawn and they've got a past pawn here so that that exchange definitely was not ideal for me um, what do we got here Take, they recapture the attacking my queen. I really know where to go from there. They've released the pin, so now they can take here with a discovered attack. Um, I can do this, but that helps them develop their queen. But then I've got this. Or I do this now. If they take, then I come up. Okay. They're getting ready to castle. this and they take and then I go here it kind of blocks in their bishop a little bit they're going to be castling I also got to be aware that this does not have a check anymore so if they take Let's get rid of their double bishops and open this open file for me. And now this, but then castle. I like this idea. If I go here and then they castle, I sacrifice my bishop and then I swing over my queen and I've got this rook here too. But I doubt they would recapture my bishop, so at least I'd be getting a pawn. We'll see. I think 
check. It's there. It might not be there yet. Let's double up the rooks. It would be cool if I can figure that out, but I just don't know. Yeah, I think uh, Rook H6. Let this pawn go. There's no crazy tactic there. Go here and defend my bishop. And they're coming down. They're coming down for sure. Check and then I'll go here. Well, wait. I can take this now. A minute and 44 seconds left. What? How does my opponent still have 8 minutes and 50 seconds left? Jeez. Okay. 
I don't know if I... I don't know if that's going to be a big deal or not. I'm going to take, take, now if I take, check, block, then what do they do? And then I have a discovered attack. Okay, here we go. Is there something here that I can work with? There might be. There might be. here and if they come down and check I go here if not I got that and I also have this I think this might be mate, because they block here. Ah, oh, no, because they have this escape square. Okay. Oh, they can get rid of mine. Ah, oh, then they push here. Five seconds left. Twenty five seconds remaining. I can push this now and get the bishop and give me a little escape hatch from this. here. Oh, forgot about that. Okay. All right. 25 seconds. Now it's just end game. I got a rook on the back rank. Now how do I take, this is, this is my focus. I can pin or I can, yep, I'll win the hat. Ah, but the, okay, let's get this knight out of the way. And it goes here. I have to move. I can just take this pawn. Okay, now I'm taking this. Let's make sure there's no forks. 
They can take that now. Yeah, they take that. I'll just take this. 30 seconds. Come down here, attack this pawn. I swing this over to defend it. And then I attack. Oh, and I can't because I'm covering it with my bishop. I might come here and pin my bishop against my rook, but then I just take, and then I have a check to get to free. <sighs> yep, that's what they do. Uh, I'll just take this. Pawn. Okay, they're trying to go after my bishop. And now I can attack here. Okay, it's a check. Chekaruski and they win my my knight. Nice. Oh, then I can do this. Gotta push these pawns now. to help me. Okay, they're planning for this. Let's uh, let's defend against that. Okay, let's push this. What am I not seeing? They have a plan. Yeah, they're coming over. are covered by their knight. Checkmate. Whew. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. And then I can win the knight. They might check me here. Let's actually defend the pawn. Uh, no, let's take this. They take mine. I can give some checks. Bring this down here and defend it. Get my king in the center. Throwing a check, I block here. We're good. And now I push this. Then I can defend it. Oh, 
Oh no. Wow. Oh my goodness, I just lost a rock. This is not good. How's that in-game studying going, Patrick? Ah, oh, not, not uh, my forte still. I actually did not read any over spring break. So there's that. Sorry, my alarm just went off. Oh. I, I, I can't believe that. Let's do an analysis here. Oh, this one hurt. This one hurt. I was within a good chunk of this game. Oh, man. Uh, going through the opening here, the exchange played it relatively well. It's a better move here. Just, oh, setting up for Fianchetto Kingside. Interesting. All right. Uh, maybe I'll have to learn the exchange a little bit better here, but some inaccuracies along the way, but no significant change in advantage. Uh, did I ca it didn't capitalize on the mistake. I could have just taken there. Um, but after they take, I take, which is the best move. They capture, I check, which is inaccuracy. The engine liked uh, kicking the, the bishop out. I've got two attackers on this, or uh, two defenders on this. So if they take, then I can do that. But they retreat back to block the check. I attack. And then right here, uh, white has a slight advantage. Great move, bringing that out so they can castle. I take, we take, this is a mistake. It was a mistake that they did not capitalize on because they could have just pushed that pawn. And uh, if I would have taken here, they would have recaptured, or they would have uh, taken my queen with their knight. So this would have caused me to lose a little bit of tempo here because I'd moved my rook once. If they were to push it, I'd have to move it again, probably down here. Um, and then this pawn is passed and defended by this knight. So it's, it's a pretty satisfying uh, position for, for white to have. Um, but they didn't see that, they castled instead, and then I missed because I should have sacrificed the bishop at that point. Sacrificing the bishop at that point, if they were to recapture, I go queen f5, attacking the pawn. That's interesting. But then they skewer. Ah, but then I pin. Uh, no, I don't pin. I come in here because I've got this bishop and that's mate. So a lot of attacking I could have done if I would have gone ahead and, and sacrificed the bishop. But I was a little timid in that regard. I felt like I needed more pieces over there to help in that attack. Um, the best move at this point would have been to retreat my bishop down. I don't know why. I don't know why bishop b8 is the best move. 
maybe just to defend this pawn, allow my queen to come over and then still maintain this diagonal. Or bishop b8 and then queen c7. See, it's hard to get this battery by moving queen to e5 because of the pawn. But if bishop retreats, queen can come in here. I've got this, op this file here, I've got mate here, and then they're going to have to figure something out. Uh, they bring out their knight. Here is a, a, yeah, probably, okay. Gaining this over here would probably be good. That's a blunder, at which point I find the great move of taking, or sorry, of checking, getting my bishop out of harm's way. I take the knight, they defend their other knight, I retreat my bishop back out of harm's way, and here I have a significant advantage. This is when I'm like, okay, I've got, I've got a good, good game plan. I end up sacrificing, um, even though it means they take... I take check, g2, oops, g2 here, and there is no, there is no mate possibility. So I'd have to check, they'd go g1, oh no, yeah, g1, and then what? Then I'd be here. Which is kind of similar to what happened. Um, after this move, attacking this pawn, this pawn, and then having this potential, they make this mistake. Well, hold on. Instead of this move, what should I have done here? Block the check already to take that away and to give uh, probably a square for the bishop to retreat back to if needed. Okay, so we ended up in this position, which is similar to the line that I uh, just did. They, uh, yeah, here was an, an inaccuracy. The engine liked bringing the knight back down. But from here, I make the best move of pinning the bishop. They defend the bishop, which allowed me to add pressure on the pin. Queen comes down for a check. Knight's there to save the day. Queen comes here to try and trade off queens. But after this, there's mate in three here. Oh. Can I find the mate in three? Whoops. Is it? that that one that's an excellent move that's made in five allows me to take that pawn and then come up um, let's see what's the best move here on seven it is a queen move. Queen e4, threatening this mate. <sighs> I did, actually, I did not see this. I forgot that they were defending the c2 square. But we take material off the board, and I have a significant advantage, so I'm like, ah, no worries, I got this. Um, but my, my end games are lacking per usual. Um, these are all relatively good moves. Here's an inaccuracy. I could have played bishop c5. Um, that's the best move. Allow them to take. And they did a great job of maneuvering the pieces in the end game. I mean, they, they found ways. OK, so here's a, here's a blunder. See, it was, a, it was a blunder because, well, my idea was checking and then winning the rook. But it was a blunder because they could have uh, forked this check, which at that point would have been really 
dangerous, but then also this. So I would have had to, you know, come here to defend, and then they take this pawn. Um, oh no! Sorry about that. My my alarm keeps going off. I I disabled it. Um, okay, so right here, uh, if they would have done that, the game would have been even. Um, but they moved their king because they probably just saw this check. Um, I missed this opportunity to check. And there's probably some way to get them on a on a move. Okay, bishop there. Okay, these are all good moves. I push my pawns. Yep. And they see they didn't see this skewer here, so I got that done, which I was really happy about. I'm like, yay, I'm gonna beat a 1677 rated player. Ooh. Um, it, we trade off some pawns. I'm still at favored with two passed pawns. They've got the queen and king and the rook. And I move all the, the best moves here. This is all great. And then there's a blunder. The blunder is they find the great move. And they win my rook. This literally was the worst move I could have made. If I had to do it again, I don't know, maybe just throw in a check. Yeah, keep it simple. They go here. And I go here, check. They go here, and then I push. <sighs> but I make the worst move possible. They take my rook, and then it's even game here. And even then, I'm like, oh, it's an even game. Great, I'll find a way to win. Uh, nope. I find a way to set myself up for a beautiful checkmate. <laughs> uh, Mick, good game. There you have it, folks. Until next time.